what is up YouTube welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is miles and I'm your high performance coach and in this video we're gonna be going over my first semester recap at university so let's go Woo! <laughs> Alright guys, so it's been a very long time since I've last hopped on the camera and delivered a video for all of you and honestly, it's been three months to be exact. I did not anticipate for this to happen. You see, I had a plan where, you know, I'm going to stay consistent and do my weekly uploads like I always have been, but then I got sucker punched in the face and I got sucker punched by my first year at university. So if you don't know, I go to Western University and I'm in the medical sciences program and the program is a grind itself. I was taking courses like physics, calculus, chemistry, biology, psychology. Those are the five courses I had uh, on top of around nine hours of labs every single week. And then just all you know your other assignments, your other reports and adapting to a new school environment. It was definitely an adjustment for myself and I personally just wasn't ready to come on camera give you guys that content. In addition, I was just in the work, grinding, grinding. I would wake up really early, do my work, basically from the moment I got up, from the moment I went to my bed. And for one, I learned a lot of things. For example, I was working extremely hard, but I wasn't working smart. And you know, now I have this little break where I'm really starting to think about ways where we can work smarter. But all in all, I don't wanna bore you with all that information. I wanna let you guys know about my first semester recap, what happened when I was away for that three months and you know, all the crazy stuff that was going on. So without further ado, let's go. So the first week of university started with orientation week. And if you know a little bit of orientation week, it was it was like a euphoric experience. Um, you got to campus, you met a bunch of people, you know, all these upper year students were like, hey, welcome to Western, yeah, you know, going crazy, you know, just kind of like making those first year students feel kind of at home, if you would. I met a ton of people. I probably met over 200 different people. It was like, hi, my name is Tom. Hi, my name is Sarah. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm Jennifer. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. And by the end of it, you just, didn't remember many people's names. I met a, remembered a few, but over as time progressed, you learn new names and you recognize familiar faces. So that was great. It was a cool experience. One thing that I was extremely grateful for was Western was one of the very few universities in Canada that I know of that was kind of transitioning to going back in person. Uh, we had a bunch of events. I was for the orientation week. There was concerts to attend. <laughs> There was these big, like, there was these events going on basically every single day. And it was just a lot of good fun. Um, a lot of great times, a lot of great memories. I don't remember the two celebrities' names, but I'll put them on screen who I saw in concert. And they both performed really well. And yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. But I knew not to get sucked in too much to all the crazy parties and all the events that were going on at school because the next week our classes were starting and I wanted to be fully prepared to just start my first classes at university. But before classes could even get on their way, something really unexpected happened at university. In my own residence building, there were some scandals where people were basically putting drugs in other people's drinks. Um, and yeah, it was pretty crazy. Police got involved. Uh, the news was basically outside of my residence every single day. I remember walking outside, getting ready to go to classes and like reporters, this one lady came up to me and she was like, hey, uh, we would love your take on to get on the interview. Like, what do you have to say about? I'm like, ma'am, listen, I don't even know what's going on. I'm just trying to go to my classes, but I hope you have a great day. But no, I kid you not, like that was going on in my school, really unfortunate times. And honestly, I don't really know everything that was going on. I was kind of so fixated on, you know, trying to learn everything about the school, trying to learn how to study and get prepared for all my classes that I didn't quite know. I had friends hitting me up saying, hey, are you doing okay? I saw that your university's on the news doing this, doing that. And I was like, hey, I really don't know what's going on, but I'm doing okay. Thanks for checking in. So that was something that started off the year and it kind of started off the year with a shaky start. 
you could feel the vibes on campus that they were just a little bit off um people were kind of on edge just of about everything that was going on which was completely understandable but fast forward classes are on their way they're rolling out um you know this is like next level it's a step up definitely from high school you're going from taking in a classroom with you know 30 students to going to lecture halls with eight to nine hundred students in an entire hall which just pretty incredible so yeah it was it was one of a kind experience i mean at the start i'm gonna be honest we didn't really know what we were doing just going there taking your notes kind of just going with the flow but as time progressed you learned how to work smarter and trying to understand like everything that university entails so yeah essentially that was going on um and then throughout the whole entire I guess, span of three months i was just putting in the work i was literally like i mentioned before going to library study sessions trying to just understand my content to the best of my ability um, and you know i rarely went out through that, that entire process i was honestly just so fixated on the books didn't really go to any parties um, do too much other things i joined a few clubs I was in the gym a couple times a week, but other than that, it was just very, very fixated on my schoolwork and that was the main priority. But one thing I did realize was I made a ton of mistakes throughout my first semester. I mean, I did some things right, but I also made mistakes that I have to improve upon. And I'm gonna be like sharing those with all of you and letting you know the do's and don'ts of university to, you know, if you're, whether you're starting university, whether you're already in university, or these are just great high performance tips that will help you throughout your life. So. Stay tuned for that on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed when I do upload those videos. But overall, that was essentially my first semester recap. I learned a ton of new information. I got exposed to a plethora of content. I met a ton of new people. I'm living in the dorm, so I'm getting that dorm life experience. And yeah, it was just honestly, I, I'm enjoying the process. It's a lot of work, but I'm enjoying it. And I can't wait until I'm back on campus because now that I'm learning how to work smarter, that will free up a lot of my time, giving me more chances to film vlogs on campus, show you around my dorm, show you my floor mates and everything like that. Like you'll get that experience and it's gonna be great. So stay tuned for all that amazing content. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick recap on kind of where I've been for the last three months. Um, I'm back. I have a lot of video ideas, honestly, throughout the entire span of me doing university. I had school on my mind and YouTube videos just that I wanted to upload, but because I was so fixated on school, I was putting in so much work and just barely getting the marks that I really wanted to get. I had to spend more time on school and just focus on that as the main priority. But of course, YouTube is where my heart is at as well. So I will always be here giving you content. So yeah, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave something nice in the comment section or ask any questions that you might have or video ideas. I'm open to all of it. And yeah, without further ado, you know what I always say, make sure to always believe that you will achieve. It is Miles and I'm signing off. Woo!